Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Time for more fun games. And this time we're playing Hunter Ball. Another of uh, Remedy Games, the company that made um, Alan Wake. Hello, Sebastian. Hello, Morgan. Hello, Slipper. Good to see everyone. Let's just quickly switch into the game. The game decides to behave. Go. He's there hiding. He's uh, munching on all the snacks. And he still hasn't told us what snacks he brought. <laughs> so I have not played Control before. I know pretty much nothing about it. So this will be a, I guess you can call it a blind playthrough. Game, headphones, English, English, subtitles. I'll keep the brightness a little higher so it's visible for everyone. Let me know if I need to adjust anything on the audio or anything like that. Or if it gets choppy. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me, so here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, Sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? The main character reminds you of Scott Johansson. <laughs> 
Anyone here? Newspapers. Uh, the bureau. Well, for a high-tech bureau, they have a typewriter and an ancient phone. Also, I cannot read what that says. Okay. Looking very suave. First time playing, yes. Haven't played this before, no. Pretty much almost nothing about it. So we have research and records, case files, correspondence. Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessi necessitated an issue reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops. Smart watches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. <laughs> number two pencils. Why number two pencils? Are they afraid John Wick is going to visit? Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetype? Typical concept. Rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All materials under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrance. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. There is nothing on multimedia. The guard went on a break. Okay. Internal lockdown in effect, building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment bridges detected. Head of research override, HRA protocol. Even that he smokes over here. You're a bill of control. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. So that's how they bring in the stuff. Major stuffing, surveillance, something, data, center initiative, construction, something, something. Minor. Office equipment, janitorial costs, something, mold removal, HQ livability costs. For the cost breakdown, spreadsheet, see page 5, for 5 year comparison charts, see page 9. So that's considered a record. Okay. Six shelter. Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research. Our Bureau at work. Janitor? Director Zachariah Trents. I love how the doors open on their own. Nothing here. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Office rules of contact. Speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. No food or drinks around bureau documents or in the copy room. Now using the photocopier for personal projects, wear access badge at all times, 
No discussing of digital project out loud. They want to finish the coffee pot makes a new one. It's a good system. Remember to yours for to wash your hands, yes. Uh, let's say hi and welcome those people. No pets allowed, no dogs specifically. Food left in the refrigerator, containment break room 3. B has been known to vanish, plan accordingly. <laughs> Acoustic guitar for sale, 50 bucks. I know, it's full of rules. Well, it's a bureau, so, you know. Delays caused by how shifts do not count towards overtime. Does it say? Spinning out of control? Yes. Interesting pun over there. Can't find your office, watch your step, okay? Pistachios, pretzels, protein bars. That? Tra. Tra mix? Tra mix? Tra mix. Crackers. Well, they have snacks as well. <laughs> Friday 3. Okay. Sark in his, although secure, permission to following basic protocol, so to kill good luck. Attention all something. Okay. I wonder if I can read them properly later. <laughs> yep. They went in on snacks. Interesting music toys, janitor. Is there a Bureau of Control? Hello. As you all know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get the written permission from your department in saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartment claims, then please contact the appropriate department head. Arling, Marshall, Salvador, and Kirk Bloom. That's needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please provide schedule accordingly. Best your admin team. Hello? Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they, they, you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hallowed. Okay. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Yeah, but he did quote an axe. Uh, an axe. 
If they don't hire you, he's gonna ask them. Okay, bo the boss has spoken. Thanks, boss. Ding. First flower. Wait, did I just loop around? Game exclusive. Game about secret agents. Okay. I totally did the loop around. Okay, that was bizarre. Boop. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Who are you talking to? Can I help? Love how they go from super high tech to really low tech. Story by Sam Lake, not to be confused with Alan. Lake. an interesting intro. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Locks are frozen. Interesting. Records office, a mess. 0665. Reminder, drafting any public facing material. While pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. <laughs> Words phrases to use. In the service of his, her country, regret, proud, pride, will be remembered. Word and phrases to avoid. Alaska. Scissors. Blood, blood, loss, apologies, sorry. The retirement issue. The oldest man in the world. We tell ourselves it's okay to be old. There's level in Swan, which we don't have, of course. This guy really loves having his face all over the place. Mr. Trent's. Some of the same stuff as the other room. So they use messaging tubes. Barbara, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. You can trust me. Not a single one. <sighs> that didn't sound good.
What's this? Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building. I'm getting prey vibes here. Dead. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? What is that spiral? Ooh, we have a map. Something's outside. Oh, was coming here a mistake? Most likely. Sir, you made the wall dirty. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? Welcome to the astral plane. Hubble gun. Well, at least this girl can jump. Okay, that didn't feel like melee, I'll, but I'll take it. Generate uh, ammunition automatically when not in use. Okay. So there's proximity damage as well. Uh, enemies drop health elements. Hear that? It's the dead man. 
right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? So this is the director's office. Going outside is one thing, but there seems to be gun. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows paramilitarians to do something. This object must be bound by individuals seeking the role of blah, blah. The director is guessing. The object will determine whether they live or die. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the board. Further criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, uh, many thought for history, Mjornir, Excalibur, Varus, Varunastra, all weapons that of the wilderness. If objects of power are, con are the conference of force based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of the force. That is the case. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privileges. Objects of power can ah, cause or earlier. be results of AWE's altered world has a coffee cup. intrusions nice. upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, Head of Research, Federal Bureau of Control. I like the presentation style high. What is that? You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. <laughs> you... Oh, thank you. That was... Horror. Get the fuck away! Level one no, I don't. material conceptual material in his guard. <clears throat> the bureau has many internal security personnel. The his was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards used the sender issue well pop rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armor guard carry pump action shotguns. They have no no observed paranormal abilities, with the exception that certain his guards are protected by sealed dense his resumes. Capable of stopping bullets. Is this sealed a result of prolonged his corruption? Does the his mature in organic host over time? More data is needed. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Does the his have that level of cogn cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tests they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later. 
So it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge from their use of weapons. Refer to... Hi Neo, thanks for dropping by. Is all over the the place. Line, says the dead man. Okay. What are they talking about? Killing them open up the area. Uh, not yet. Don't let mold eat a ride. I love all the corporate posters. There are people there. This is how you run. In there. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for the hero staff to find you and the object. If there are Materials. I'll read those in a minute. So those have a timer. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. 
That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Idea. Interesting. Not what I would expect to find in here. You die very easily. You sprint to dodge enemy rockets. Okay. Apparently, we are Neo. Matrix Neo. I don't need to get this again. Good. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. I still have the collectibles. The burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that I makes find? you hum it over and over. <sighs> guy from before. Ah, there he is. I made him spawn too early. Dead letters. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. 
Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is fucking unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. What are you talking Or what are you Okay. You with me? We did it before. Pushed the hiss out. Now I have a bunch of stuff. Ooh, I have personal mods. Uh, I have one slot, health recovery, energy recovery speed. I can use energy for anything. What is that? Let's put that on. Let's see. Assets. Uh, category 1, category 3. Yeah, probably. So the briefing is just like a summary of what has happened so far. Good. Urban legends. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered material, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of young shark attacks. Are we going down that? Okay. We recognize certain, informed by our own, and pop popularized by our media. We have additional proven that urban legends can even be artificially in popular culture and music we are made on television television programs. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of polarized folklore. Those that only occur on a pair of scissors that consume human or two punctures on the I wonder if you can somehow make this visible. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength to the urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranormal realities. Prepare to file for full report.
next up. Uh, rising cost of high response. New supplier of coffee filters to be found in vet. Like they have a coffee issue. Marshall, we checked out the suspected O in Duluth. Wasn't anything just like the house fire before this, and the manufacturing closed dryer before? My team is getting pretty sick of that. We need to find a better way to sort the fake OEs from the real thing. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little live livelier. Sincerely Special Agent Keenan. Welcome to... Uh, we're proud to serve blah 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 blah. If they do not live, ask them this question. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and they'll need to leave. If their answer seems... Escort them to a private room. They'll perform the Gunner Psychological Assessment. If their response are within the acceptable range of de deviance, See scoring seat, then immediately. There's no such thing as too suspicious. There's an dinner reservation at 7 at Ces Ambre. Why we'll meet you there, don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she's turning 46. For the previous director, I'm guessing. Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, over here. Hold on. We. I can't floor. cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. 
Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Ring, ring. The hotline is an old rotary phone. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms The hotline should be in the communications department. Okay, we have a lot of things to learn. Cool. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But, in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've... Been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. A bullet in his brain lets him communicate. Okay. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> Got it. Thanks. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. He knew too much. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Are all of those the previous directors?
Or the board. So I'm here. I want to go up. A bit through. Okay, there is an elevator. I want to go to the yellow thing. How do I go to the yellow thing? So that was the first mission, now we are the same one? Mission briefing 0101. It's still the same. The only person you should fail is yourself. I wonder, is there anything specific about it? I seem to be too targeted. There it is again, our welcome message. So there'll have to be a lot of backtracking when I get access. Guys, running through. The running comes happy friend. There yet. I go up there. Okay, so there are things that are distractible. Unless you get some sort of way to pull things to her. Which I suppose could work.
Let's work hard. Just life in your hands, okay? Should continue slow. the melee actually affect his barrier the general barrier I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive catalog in the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letter came to us from various places and times. <clears throat> Gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable, the Bureau is the perfect home for it. I realize that all letters contain accounts of genuine paranormal events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letter for any information or suspected connection to OIS and other altered material. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Dead letters are undelivered ma mail. Um, just unstable. Yellow and orange is low stability, and red is mess. Mister Governor, I called the police, but they never come to my house. I got a problem, and you got. To send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a bat, but it got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. There's a lot of cuss words. The devil got into my house because of the fish and you couldn't come handle it. My wife is really upset. When you, when can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Bond. Okay, Dwayne. Not use other mode. 
Do I have a better one? Uh, so that's health recover, more energy. Go with energy recovery. Oh, I have one. I have a damage boost. Yes, yes, please. Works. There it is again. A welcome message. Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Where are the previous eliminated ones gone? There you are. Here an enemy, I don't see an enemy. There they are. to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> I like this guy. whole concept that um, the whole building sits. Communications are on the right track. Like that, machine god, or we're going into Deus Ex territory. Uh, so that's how I got in here. Where I want to explore.
Was creepy. Hey, Meg, what's wrong? My mom's dead. I'm so sorry, Meg. What happened? I don't know. It blacked it out. <laughs> it's like the director says. Not suspicious or creepy at all. Executive no. Welcome to the comms department. We are here to help. Okay. Older guys, a little light. An object of power. Looks like the hiss has latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Oh, you can actually crouch. It's definitely a poltergeist. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. 
I'm no one's director. Okay, so I think those objects give you the powers. Makes sense. Gone. Good morning, Leslie. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. So this is good against seals. That makes sense. I cannot pass it through three targets, it can only hit one. one which I don't have yet East Ranger. I love the names. Uh, my weapon. Don't have anything new there? I haven't been here.
Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mailroom. efficiency okay voices or music oh that's how I get the other collectible Makes sense. Oh, it's dangerous. level one okay. you're listening to america overnight mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years thank you for staying up with us ghosts we've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings voices and other phantasmagorical phenomena today friend of the show dr quincy reagan tells his story quincy Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have and the body had been there a week he said guests had stayed there sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. they only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since i happily took the room i fell asleep pretty quick checking under the bed first of course no ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights, but when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something. 
something strange. Some of the toasters that we have no name for toasters possess. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. America Overnight, we'll be right back. Interesting uh, radio show, America Overnight. This must open the door. Well, that's a second level one clearance, right? Yes. Why do you give me two again? I cannot see anything. That's a lot of mail. They can fly now. Great. guy with the shield. Mm. I can focus on the guy first. So the flying things you could evade bullets, it didn't seem like it could. Unless I can stagger him somehow and then throw something. I should probably what's this launch energy cost that is convenient let's try that they can fly now great
fighting that guy up there, bad idea. So I do lose stuff when I die. Hmm. Interesting. So it's a balance between killing the odds and fighting him. Uh, I might go with more health for energy pickup. There anything else I can find that would help? there was that level one thing back in the director's office as well, right? A clear level. So, the shortcut, back to the shelter. Was there something here with a clearance? I think a level three? A uh, level one. Recover. So those are mostly material stasis. another level one somewhere here unless I'm misremembering this is entirely possible ah, and there was something I needed to pick up from up here right 
Black Widow. Unless I somehow open it up. Hmm. Can I fast travel from here or do I need to be? I need to be on the actual spot. Okay, then let's go to Central Executive, which I cannot. See if I can beat it this time. They can fly now. Great. There are explosive things here. Who the fuck?
That explosion killed me twice. What is going boom on this side? They ah. fly now. That Great. what goes boom. That big red thing. Okay. I think I'm doing something wrong. Every time. Hmm. Those guys are endless. This doesn't make much of a difference. Lance cost won't make much of a difference anyway. Energy, I think, is only for pulling things. No, I don't have any. So the pillar was a good start. Great.
What are you cooking, Sebastian? Standing is not advisable. I know, Kim. I moved. And I died. Let's try something silly. Fly now. Great. Not like that. You can tell. Hmm, There is some serious multitasking. an excellent superpower. Of course now he runs. I'm back. I have a feeling he'll be back. I'm very sure he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Apparently, combat is going to be interesting in this game. Pretty much everything has the long way, and then you unlock the short. Excellent. Not bad game design level. Let's do this here. Did I just see something. Yes, there is a message going through the tube. 
Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The All right, got him. Down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an altered item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? Yes. Hotline chamber. The hotline can't be far now. Phone is ringing. Other projectile boost. I don't have shutter. Is that? Yep, the right phone. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Up here. Green Logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. Catalyst light switch. The law of three applies. Three what? been here before? Ah. No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country. On the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them. Like something recognized from a dream. Oh yeah, those are definitely related. This feels like a puzzle. Uh-huh. Yep. That is a puzzle, all right. Welcome to Montana. I interact with not the radio. If I pull the light switch, what do you do? Light that door. If I press this, oh, you open a different room. Okay. Press it again. You go across. Oh, just go to the next. Key has a black pyramid on it. Pyramid, which is what I'm looking for. Three. 
Doesn't look friendly. Yep, you're not friendly. object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Yes, but Tomasi is... Okay, so it just cuts all of this into small little things. Okay. All right, take this down. This. It's in the trash hole, kids. The super creepy thing. Marshall, pay attention, little bird. This is the last time I'm explaining. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator. Effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the directorial, di directorial override in the maintenance. In maintenance. <clears throat> Once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control, external lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out at the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment bridge based on some complicated systems that security and research slap together. It can only be lifted once. A. That has been neutralized. Or B. A high clearance individual gives the system the all clear. This process is not the same as the directorial override. Stop saying so in the documentation. I know it's confusing as hell. I told Darling a hundred times to change it. But they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works. Okay? Uh. That. Hello, avid readers. The bureau book bans will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing, unless you, by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get the reviews to me by Monday before lunch. So I can generate some conversation started before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Burton. 
by L. Samson. So, I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was all right. The, titles un the title, unless you, would refer to a bunch of things in the book. I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got really, real annoying really fast. The best part of the story was the space battle. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity toity flowers and gun space hippies <laughs> or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like Pip Sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. Sushi. That scene where they invade a city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms and that space dog fight between the two ace pilots sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruin what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character was killed, not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. That's some weird right? Hey time by the way, have you heard about this Tenny Tennyson report? Apparently there is a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Prince is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. He wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would he? See you on Sunday. Machine God. The president's. Uh, to whom it may concern. I'm being contacted by the past presidents of the United States. They appear at spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand it. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower. I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Machine God. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know, or the ones anyone you know. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my coaster, and the fans plus the timing belt from my car sensor, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. Ghetto God. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's book. Like a baby is, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you were to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. About the his stuff and how they operate. Are those red spots their weaknesses? I think so. Uh, all visitors, so Bill Eret and director and Carol Bishop is Carol. Here we have the ID of Mr. Tomashi. Number 21st, you see the death. Hmm. Okay. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Back here, the funding. To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. 
our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the US Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet. Some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in our work. Our being here is no accident. We go. Zakarian Trent's director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Security level one here. I think that was the last level one I found. I know there is another level three somewhere. There's a level 4 here. So level 4 right outside of uh, board. Okay. Emily is down there. You guys want to talk to you? Nope. Do your files appear periodically? Nice spooky music. Yeah, there is no way I didn't find all these files before. So things change as I fix things in the old house. That actually makes sense. Would that be for every location? Or would it be just for the central location? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I... Sorry. Breathe. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. New mod. Health recovery. Uh, all of them are always... You've been doing research, girl. Initial encounters with the entity known as his have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the his is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Usually, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices, Charling has contributed to the past weeks, has not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Payton, who possesses an inherent immunity to the his. This could indicate that they had already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other ones that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She's able to cleanse material and organisms of the his corruption. She tested this ability on a his corrupted entity. Unfortunately, the process seems to be broken. The hop, the host size geology becomes reliant on the his. More work to be done. Refer to file blah blah for. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. 
She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation you are doing phenomenally well and all that and the his can't seem to affect you i mean i would love to run some tests on you if you agree that is we could find out something that would help us tests i don't know she might find out about you but i wouldn't mind understanding more myself okay if you think it will help Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. The way that people float really reminds me of Death Stranding. Oh, I can upgrade stuff. Okay. Uh, you want me to talk to you? Sure. Hi, Jesse. Hi. Having you. Thanks, Bye. Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? The janitor. <laughs> singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Yup. It's the janitor. It's the guy. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. He never recorded any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the P6 data. Uh, weapon forms. Oh, so that's to make weapons. So I can make a weapon. No. I already have a, a weapon called Saga, right? Can make mods and stuff. Oh, I have a whole tree. Okay. So, more health. Yes, please. That's more energy, more mela, and more launch damage. Uh, more launch damage will be good eventually. Give me more energy for now. How much do those cost? So those cost three. I don't have three. Okay, so I can get one of these. Additional weapon slot. Nice. What's that? Various maneuvers. Kill enemies with a service weapon. 
Okay, so there are like small challenges that give stuff. Uh, well, I'll take all of them. I can only take three at a time. Shutter charge, so the weapon can change. Uh, I mean, I can make. What is mine called? It's called grip. Okay, now I have shutter. And projectiles fired or recoil. Or projectiles, since that's all it is about. Okay. Hope has asked us to document the history of Exciting here. Do I change weapon? Uh, they're both equipped. Okay. Up brings the map. Down moves this, like as this. Change weapon. Options, controls. Uh, with X, okay. Ah, okay. that makes sense. This is still floating, which means there are people that need to be taken care of. Have I been in here? No. Collective unconscious. Yep, we are going deep. Oh, look, it says Sebastian. Masao, Leol, Annaline, Sebastian, and Zina. Okay. I found you in game, Sebastian. <laughs> CCD1, CCD2. What are they calculating? Reflection of uh, laser beams. Is that the elevator? It's not an elevator, that's a door, right? Uh, central...
wants us to get a field lab set up as soon as possible. Area. Hector elevator. Time to work. Meet me in the main tenants. I knew you were not a normal janitor. Mm. There is more to do here, but I should be able to come back. Yeah, because I'll have to talk with Emily again. Like I said before. The janitor is a friendly face. <laughs> oh yeah, the janitor is sus. Very sus. <laughs> you said it in the beginning. You work the for me. sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. <laughs> it felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Maze on the floor? There's a maze on the floor? Okay, remind me when I go back up there again. I'll check it out. Oh boy. That's a big area. So janitor's office ventilation. The directorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? Blackrock query, Blackrock processing, but they are both closed. Yep. Doesn't look good in there. Clems in Saturn mode, okay? Ah! 
more. Clearance level 4, so we're gonna be back here a lot. Senator's office is over there. Over here I cannot go because of um, that. That will be another power I unlock. There's nothing here. Is there anything explosive in here? What's down that way? The right way, apparently. Or not. Has his own poster? mission cleans the merry-go-round horse object of power hey Whee. Ugh, this place makes me nauseous I mean it's a merry-go-round so. an object of power how do you think it got down here a carousel horse why is kid stuff always so creepy I second that question Horse choo choo. Okay, so that's a dust, that's an escape dust. What did I die? How big is this? Tell me how far I need to go. How wide is this? So I need to pass this, which will take one and a half. Range measurement. to the beginning, that's rude.
Farther down we go. A build point, thank you. Okay, so that was a hidden location. Those are the thing too. Oh no, another creepy episode. Very creepy. <laughs> it's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The light goes on forever. You can get lost in all that <laughs> white and never find your way back home. I miss my home. I love the 56 kilo VPS modem sound in the background. This is cute, yeah. Avoid modern technology. Mm -hmm. Did I find the route way by accident again? Dial up, yep. Knock knock. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's I'm just crazy. around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. <laughs> ah, but ya, ha, ya, ha. You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus Lomberkele swore that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed. Before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. I'm <laughs> trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise, the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. 
I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seat's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. <laughs> the door in the back <laughs> leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. I like him too. The thing is, he speaks in such metaphors. And it's like, what he says has a lot of things behind him, right? Pistachios. I love pistachios. What's this? Yep. Burn the trash Burn around the, the trash. Throw it into fire. How do I do that? Burn it all. It's... Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a moose. Reindeer. Uh, well, where is the thing you want me to burn? Can I see it on the map? Unless it's in front of me, but I don't think so. There was another second level... The ventilation. Here they are again. Apparently, the soccer is great for these guys. Quest is done. Uh, in charge modes and shutter. Okay, no, that's not done. This is not shutter. This is shutter. Or do I need to be in their face? Over here, I pick them up. Yes, I can. I'm probably getting there with the dots. This doesn't look like a furnace, does it? Tells me, maintenance furnace chamber, which I haven't found yet. Okay. Oops. Pensioner. Who's the pensioner? Okay. 
Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Well, yeah, it kind of is a director's duty to keep the power on. Are you a human or are you a thing? Oh, you're human. Hey, hey, are you new? Uh, go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Chief Arish, didn't I just didn't I get the collectible that Arish is a thing? An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple of weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out. The Fenian sees a merry-go-round uh -huh, or zipping around the sector alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own. Definitely don't bind it. So this guy was looking for his note. Points. Mm. Give me more health. Great grip. Yes, upgrading is good. So I need ritual impulses. I cannot construct the spin yet. Mods. I don't care for mods. Can I get any of those? No. So that's. I want that. Charge. I don't think I have charge mode, so abandon this. Using grip, kill enemies with headshots. Yeah. So headshots are a thing. Okay. To the boss. Chief Arish, FBC Security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Don't worry, friend. I got this. I'm your new boss. Ritual impulse. Yes. Nice. Let's talk. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. It's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. 
Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Well, this One, is keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. So there's probably an AWE. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Has to be Finnish or Swedish. He's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? I should be going. Right. You He's got a lock to the lift. What are those words Swedish Neo earlier? Things like Perkele. Because he kept mixing words in there before. Fate. So there. That's why I thought it sounded that it sounded finished.
I'm sure he will talk a lot more to us. He seems very talkative to me. Throw me your head. An I don't think I can do anything here yet. <laughs> Guessing with change tables, the man takes the power from it. Come down. sounds Oh, another hidden area. So, <clears throat> so I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in this specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or...? I always did love Get obstacle ready, courses. Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, 
Two, one, go. Of course, it's that. Forty five seconds remaining. Okay, that's how that works. Fifteen seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Course failed. Try again, Ranger. Fine. So we'll be able to go up here. Did you control this? Yes, you did. That, that makes so much more sense. Then there is going to be six. Is doable. <clears throat> Quite doable, actually. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. seconds remaining. All right, then. Five seconds remaining. Force failed. Try again, Ranger. Shit! So, this side first. Come on, come on. This side second. Get ready, Ranger. Third time is the turn. in five, four, three, two, one. Fifteen 
15 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Force failed. Try again, okay. Ranger. There was more? You awkward voice recording. <laughs> okay, apparently there is more. Get ready, Ranger. Force starting in five. And the shutter is much better for three, the targets. Two, one. seconds remaining. Fourth complete. Congratulations. Really? That's all I had to do? Guessing this isn't usually part of the course. <laughs> it's protecting itself. Harder. Something that goes boom. Oh. The game is trolling me today. Just a little bit. Certainly a handy skill. Power. Nice. Good time to have a shield. goes that. We unlock the elevator from here. Actually that's where I got down from right? Yes, that one left. No, I've never been down here, I don't think so.
road. Was it a rocket? Did you just shoot a rocket at me? You just shot a rocket at me. Ah, that's where the shield would come in handy. Yeah, okay, lesson learned. Or I could even use the dust. Ah, the game fixed it itself for me. Thank you. It's fried up. You need to fix it because inside the blood has a shit fit. Do the fight thing. It was an object of power, right? So I can level up. Um, I would like more energy, absolutely. What's this? Sealed strength, uh, sealed barrage. Okay, this will do damage to enemies, which is good. Give me. I don't have enough points, so I can get this one. Okay. Now, let me get any of those missions. So this is, give me the stuff. <laughs> Everyone wants more energy. Pierce mode, spin, peace rangers. Uh, pierce, kill enemies, I don't have pierce. Even in sectors. Okay. Can I make beers? No. Hey! Dude. Got a rocket man. Or he shoots a rocket at me when I'm not looking. Um Oh, no, no. Ah, oh, that works. That's... Okay. That's... I want to get that. Nice. Apparently there are creative ways of killing enemies. I like it.
Where is the third one? Down or up? It's down. Hey. Maximum of five gases. Power cut. Replace the parts. I don't like that sound. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> the abyss okay we're not going there hello amber oh and the furnace chamber is here too Ooh. i like it But with those, it's better to throw things at them. Yep. Close. me to go there so I'll do that after but I was not that so kill rangers that's fine and that's the execution
friends, cats. Oh no, not you. That guy, you were just a guy. the spin now mm. or I can wait for three more of this to upgrade breed a way to upgrade Barrels full of hazardous biological material. Very likely. It seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology. I believe. I've discovered the code Omega Paranatural residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. Furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... The oh, smart oh, furnace. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Volunteers for what? I mean, I'm sure that... It eats these things over here, but... There, don't go down. <clears throat> there is one more. Where is it? Up, up there. That's all of them. Bingo. <laughs> of 
First one. We need to fix this thing ASAP. Bosque Corva. <laughs> Bro, go to city. Fix it fast. If the plant goes poop, we can throw the spoon in the core. <laughs> I like this guy. He's still sus, but he's the cool kind of sus. Well, it wouldn't surprise me, he's excellent. Shit, what now? My old enemy, the club, is blocking the pipes. My old enemy, the club. Need to deal with <laughs> he is very clever. He's trying to sneak in. We got him caught with his hand in the fist. Trap. I gotta ask, why is there toilet paper here? I've ever seen. 
They should start calling me Mario. Plama. Bye bye thing. Really? Really? Where am I? Ooh, back here. Okay, well. Let me collect these. Uh, here, spear, spin. So I have these stars, they're ones I want to get rid of. And I have two points. And. Give me long stones. I just hold together a little longer. Forty percent is a tad uh, from.
this place is gonna come down. What am I missing? Uh, I, think I got rid of the clog monster. Yes, and that was a way for me to go back out again. There's an elevator, okay? the last one. Oh, hello. That's where it is. Let's go lift the lockdown. Nap sounds great.
yes, it's birthday season for a lot of people. <laughs> August and September are quite busy months. You're not wrong, Amber. And uh, October. Nice. That's still quite close. Like what? Two three months? Blockages in pipe C through F. Is the clock back? Now? Oh man. Adi is going to be so pissed. Crew feels a lot safer when you're around. Got nothing to tell me. That's sad. I should be going. Try to stay Bryce, alive. You gotta lock down the lift. Times <laughs> 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 without dying, okay. Accepted. Actually, <laughs> flying. <laughs> Where do I go? I do. I'm not denying that one moment. I...
Okay, although I don't have enough energy to go over there. Open door. <laughs> I was tempted. But I chose otherwise. Let's go see the boss. Not this way. This way. Well, this is still under control of something. Oh, I haven't gone down there. How dare I miss a spot? The, uh, the elevator. Now I got up from the elevator, so that's not where I need to go. MCS control. Where's the control? This one. Is it the place with the music from Old Gods of Asgard? Okay, shortcut. Yep. near the end of the game or is it fairly early on?
this is what we came here to do. The search of her. Way away. Hmm. We upgrade this. Yes. And. More health? Yes! I don't even have to ask. A uh, new upgrade slot for this. It's a damage, damage after kills. Oh, that's not bad. Rate of fire? No, it has a good rate of fire. Against enemy armor. That is handy. Reload speed. Let's do the... Let's do the armor. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Well, before that, don't I need to go talk to my boss? E. Oh, you're talking about um, this one on the objects of power. Let's go talk to the boss. Closing the map? What do you mean closing the map? Mm, no, I missed it here. No, I haven't. Not to my knowledge, at least. Hey boss, I'm here. Having no new quests? Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, 
Ash from that. Yes, he's boss. He told me when I walked into the bureau, he's like, you work for me. Okay. He sent me for the interview, I became director, I got it. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, he's sus, he's very sus. Here is there was somewhere I didn't go earlier. elevator to go yeah let's go i press the right button oh i can go everywhere now cool let's go back to the executive section now i have a quest to kill People in the executive affairs. Executive sector. It's a level three. Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling... Don't be stupid. Oh, the Bureau's golden child had to gain from killing the boss. Many things, actually. Become the new boss. I love the videos of Darling. Is um, peculiar. the enemies okay that's a thing the hotline area is that considered the executive area Hotel. 
The executive sector is supposed to have a designated security team here for our protection. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Yes, let's talk, girl. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? Mm -hmm. The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Are you the freaking AWE of the old house, Arctic? The only thing that would make sense.
because he looks after the whole place. He's the one who welcomed us in. He's taking care of all the other things. Hmm. Interesting. I heard that his attack with power work brings up a lot of new questions. Are you communicating? Coordinating? What about the plan to try to defend? The power plant is working on the control. Six and eight of spades. I wonder if that reference is something. Hmm, some people. Let's go to research. This video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of great importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. <laughs> Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. They like to call themselves creative minds. City. Decorate this place, Amber. <laughs> A 
couldn't tell from uh, all the vegetation. forgot about those guys. when to get the health. See you, Pierre. Thanks for dropping by. Rocket guys. Thank you. 
Oh, there's another rock again. The gas is good to get into position as well. Good to know. That feels dangerous. <clears throat> For who among us has touched the foundation of this world and deemed them solid? Theodore. So, Darling's office is up there and Dimensional Research is up. Our psychology is this way. Is where I want to get to eventually. Oh, hi. So this thing's are back. Yep, they do respond. I can go higher. Search those. I'll check when I'm back down. This thing again. Oh, this time I can cross. Hmm. I'm not crossing yet. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. Nice. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. 
And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. So, I think our friend um, really liked those cubes, those reflections. I'll keep going. Dimensional research. Oh, let's go. Impossibly changing labyrinth. Can never pass through. Dimensional research. So it is a maze. see what you do there. Let's go. Oh, there's a loop, so I don't want to go this way. Open. Does it only open from one direction? Yes. Okay. So, going back here. You saw a path. The light is there, so we're looking at which angle. They're all the same, right? Yes. Where is the newspaper? The newspaper is there. So we're looking from that perspective. So I want a door. That's where I got from. This. Now. Hall and hall. So that's the loop. I don't want the loop. You reset? Yes. So we are here. We are back in this room. Yes. So I want to go deeper. That's the right path. It's just a closed loop. Better? Is it timed or is it? consider me amazed yeah things are moving ah <laughs> you point to this you point to that which will take me back which is fine so it depends on how I trigger the painting.
You get this painting. No, 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 not that way. Definitely has something to do with how you trigger the paintings. So that's that. If I go in there. It won't let me. I go back. It's closed. Reset the maze. to dust. Yeah. I broke them and break them. you not letting me go in there? Uh, painting dresses. So I got the first three loops, but why can I not reach that in time? It can be a speed thing because I'm running like the wind. Look, the lovely bodies here. I don't move. So you trigger when I reach a point. What point? Damage the walls. Interesting. I 
Is it where the mirror would normally see me? Oh boy. Uh... What are empire? They are invading. This, that. That's right. That should uh, help the little bot friend behave. <clears throat> so when I pass in front of that, it's gonna shift the room. I doubt I won because I will fall in front of something. Still works. Why does that still work? Yes, and that's definitely, um, if I step here, will something happen? No. If I go anywhere in front of that, if I go here, anywhere where that painting would see me. Only breaking it is also not a solution. Okay, let's try one last thing and I'll come back to it. I have a theory that I need to block what it sees somehow. At some point. Personal protection, what? Where? Where that? In? Go to the mailing room, okay. Sorry, I got someone to save. We'll be back. Also conveniently, it's called an ashtray maze. I wonder if that's relevant since there was an ashtray on the actual table. Go to the mail room. Well, I have 20 minutes, which is thank you. I would like to open the 
object of power here so I don't have to fight these things again. Yes. Oh yes, there is a third one. Thanks, Amber. Right there, bro. Uh, full of personal mods, so I need to start destroying things. Okay. Uh, can I order them by? Health recovery, I don't need any of those, go away. I want only the best one for energy, so remove and remove. Get rid of that, get rid of that, eight, eight. So fine. Let's go do that executive mission. Whatever it might be. Uh, launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Now that. But first, more energy. The astral plane is, is. And I can make ears, not yet. And I cannot make spin either. Any quests to give away? No. We can talk. Broad strokes. Let's fast travel to mailroom. the mail room this way? Yes.
help you. You're bad. You're very bad. You stay next to it. Here I try to save them. Rude. Here we go. If I go in there, do I get more enemies again? Nope. Yeah, let's go back to Astral Exhibit. I know, and they were doing just fine all this time, and then they're like, ah, oh, I'll just go sit next to that. Why the moon has an eye? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Apart from a shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement native species always in the distance and yet contact was made we don't have footage of this a technical malfunction but when one of our astral knots returned a brain cloud an astral fugue had hitchhiked a ride in his head it ruptured out killing the subject in question it's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts minds lethal to those the entity feeds on proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it Interesting. And we brought that thing out of the astral plane. Great. Oh, those things. I can't believe they keep that thing here. to trap it. No button. So I got a fixed button.
Oh, there's a second one. Okay. Now it makes sense. Where is the second thing? I'm here, little cloud. That's how I mess up. Oh no, I have to do that. Mm. Not annoyed that I died by it, I'm annoyed it reset my kill 50 without dying. Yeah, I realized that a little bit too late. This way, friend. Actually, got something. Okay. Bye bye. What was the bureau doing with that thing? No. We need to hurry. rocket guys in the car.
hate you. Did I mention I really don't like those rocket guys? I really don't like them. <laughs> Big one with a rocket. What I always wanted. That's Big boy. Hot. The brain that is a brain. Project of power. Before I do that, I cleanse this. No. Is there still something alive? Yes. And of course it's a rocket guy. That's better. X-ray light box. Wasn't that the X-ray light box? Or is there another one? Yeah. Hypnosis lab.
Yes, Amber. Hi, friends. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. Oh, we do the safes. So, close enough. Uh, how do I make... to be just that. Yes, that's the black one. That looks correct. Needs a line. But it has a line, right? It does. Reverse, so we go with the reverse. We're doing this, this, and this. But I cannot do it a full rotation like that. It's a half line. Uh -huh. Is it? Okay. Like that. Major targets. Hello. Yes, let's go do that. You might 
Where are you, Matrix? Did I ever find that? Amber. How do we even go up there from the communication department? Well, sorry, I gotta save my people. My people need me. <laughs> so, get the pneumatics. Oh wait, there is a map here, down. That's better.
Mm, what can I learn? Oh. Can I make any of the other weapons? I can make pierce. Pierce. This. Perfect. Spin. I don't have pe spin, but I have pierce. Back to our psychology. First try. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark, First Boss. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good. Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. That's how you seize them. Okay. Fight for me. Fight for me, friend. Oops, I killed you.
Hey, new power. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. Oops. Go this way. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. The elevator needs to wait. Oh, so that was me going all the way back. Okay. Never mind, no backtracking. Trench said his team knows all the Bureau's secrets, Marshall especially. Does she know what happened to Dylan? Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. Mm, we got someone dead here. Welcome to the party, ma'am. Marshall is right down the hall. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to the party. What are we celebrating? Floating people? How is that still under their control? Or it's not? It wasn't. Uh, since duration, one point. I have four points. Give me more health. Okay, abandon it. Uh, demolition experts, yes. Why are you taking and putting the flower back? What crazy there power play is that? I was starting to worry. Oh, it's the whole luck thing. A baker, is that you? Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall. Head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah is dead then. And I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline? 
Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Yes. Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. If there's anything in this place that can improve our luck, we ought to try it out. You know, just in case. Do not touch anything. Ritual division. Okay. I see rockets. I see a healing thing. Yeah, we're gonna be busy. I see rangers over there. We have to. Go. a branch you don't want to fight me Mods again. Ooh, there's a few here. Recoil. There's a problem here. Oh, I need to choose weapon, right? So if I remove this and put here's here and give it. this we'll have something better than this 22 no sort by type They're all the same. So, what do I recycle? This is all red fire. Common stuff can start going away. I don't think I'll ever use common stuff.
let's work with uncommon and rare. And for here, same principle, rarity. Ooh, it's a lot of uh, rhyme boost. Yeah, that's a major one. Uh, land energy cost, recover with element. That would be handy, but let's go with land energy cost. And recycle. Great this. Try this again. Efficiency nice. Kill his guards. Easy, easy. Executive sector. We're not there. Anything new? I need one more ritual impulse for speed. Construct levels. Uh, upgrade the higher tier. Mm. Ah, so I can make higher tier. This costs 5,000, which is not much. Sure. Let's do that. Something went terribly wrong in here. It's going down.
Altered item number 52AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the that. item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. I heard a quack. So you want me to do this? See, this one actually explains itself. You led me here. Any idea how to make it work? Director, it appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. So there are three of them. Ending variables. Hmm. Now we affect this configuration. So we need to find all the punch cards. This is number four, so I need to set up each one of those in the order that they are truly meant. This shows me number one, four. Are they collectibles? Those things should be collectible. Total of five. Terminal two, but there is one thing here. Is there another one? Yes, what do you say? I 
if you move this with this you create a feedback loop so you don't want to create a feedback loop I was a note for this one. It was... Are they in alphabetical order? No. Something black rock something. Where was it? Black rock, uh, <clears throat> no, it's not relevant. So the hints are the things over here. Let's see. Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. Well, I know that number one, which is this meant to be this. Two and three are questionable. This creates a feedback loop if you replace, if you put it last, so we don't want to put it last. These whiteboard drawings may be important. The fourth one. If I'm reading this correctly, it should be this. Not this. What are the other three? So the way I read this, two and three are interchangeable. It looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. So if I go on three and I put that here, and then two, where is two? It's five, I want two. Two, two to be the other one. This didn't work, so if I move around two and three, so I'll remove that. What are the symbols mean? Prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. 
Emily Pope has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large-scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Here, this will lead back to Central Research. Thank you. Of course, it's right there. Also, apparently, I cannot go in there. Not yet. Uh, there was a bunch of other things I wanted to do here. Did the other mission expire? Yeah. Communication department. Thank you. So I want to go to the comms. Pope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. She wants us to crack Darling's personal logs. Give me. Uh, this for sure. And I have two more points, so give me this. Crucify us if he finds out. Who does she. Must travel to mailroom the closest. Yes. Dead leather should be closest. They destroy his node, but where are they?
thing is zooming all over the place. Finally all dead. Nope. I first travel when I'm chased by them. Mm, yes I can. Okay. This is where I'm gonna wrap it up for now. It's been a good six hours. Thanks everyone very much for 
joining me on this adventure. Hope you enjoy control so far. I'll catch you all on the next one.